Namaste, and welcome to our continuing journey of the Ashtavakra Gita. Today we continue this beautiful dialogue with Chapter 3 between Sage Ashtavakra and King Janaka. To recap, in the last chapter, Janaka exclaimed, It works. Upon hearing Ashtavakra's words, Janaka realizes his true nature. Enraptured, he describes the joy and wonder of his new state. Today's chapter, in chapter 3, Ashtavakra is delighted for Janaka, but sees inconsistencies. He fires off a series of confrontational verses about attachment to worldly pleasure. Let's hear what he says. Chapter 3 Test of Self-Realization Ashtavakra said, Having realized yourself as one, being serene and indestructible, why do you desire wealth? Just as imagining silver in mother of pearl causes greed to arise, so does ignorance of self cause desire for illusion. Having realized yourself as that, in which the waves of the world rise and fall, why do you run around in turmoil? Having realized yourself as pure awareness, as beautiful beyond description, how can you remain a slave to lust? It is strange that a sage who has realized self in all and all in self, this sense of ownership should continue. Strange that one abiding in the Absolute, intent on freedom, should be vulnerable to lust and weakened by amorous pastimes. Strange that knowing lust as an enemy of knowledge, one so weak and nearing death should still crave sensual pleasure. Strange that one who is unattached to the things of this world and the next, who can discriminate between the transient and who yearns for freedom, should yet fear the dissolution of the body. Whether acclaimed or tormented, the serene sage abides in the self. He is neither gratified nor angered. A great soul witnesses his body's actions as if they were another's. How can praise or blame disturb him? Realizing the universe is illusion, having lost all curiosity, how can one of steady mind fear death? With whom can we compare the great soul? Who, content knowing self, remains desireless in disappointment? Why should a person of steady mind, who sees the nothingness of objects, prefer one thing to another? He who is unattached, untouched by opposites, free of desire, experiences neither pleasure nor pain as events pass through. Wow, what beautiful words from Sage Ashtavakra designed to test Janaka. I hope you are able to hear these words again and to go to the deeper meaning that analyzes these words of wisdom from Sage Ashtavakra. In Chapter 4, we find Janaka asserting that the Lord of the Universe can do as he pleases. It would be an interesting insight into Janaka's realization. Please share this with your loved ones, especially the ones who you feel will benefit the most from these, from these beautiful and profound words. I look forward to seeing you on our continuing journey through the Ashtavakra Gita. Leave me a comment and let me know how you feel. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.